I try to hoop usually every day for a little bit, even if it's just five minutes, if I'm running to class or just while I'm cooking, getting stuff ready for the day, I'll put something down like my homework and I'll take a quick break. I'll just pick up the hoop for a little bit, move the furniture out of the way and just go at it. Hula hooping in Grant Park, there's nothing more fun than it. I've come a ways. This was kind of me whenever I first started hula hooping. I got into it, made some videos with friends, kind of looked like a crazy ass kid just doing some goofy stuff with some moves. But little did I know that hula hooping would be a lot more important in my life, a lot bigger deal than just messing around with a hoop. I have been hula hooping for about, it's been about like six months now, six, about five or six months. I, back in uh, December 2010, I got my first... There are three different types of hula hoops. There's the regular hula hoop, the LED hoop, and the fire hula hoop. Here's what the LED hoop is like. An LED hoop is a hula hoop. It's a clear, it's made with clear PVC piping, and it usually has a bunch of different LED lights in it. Another beautiful form of hula hooping is the fire hoop. Fire hula hooping is a technique of hula hooping in which the hula hoop has five prongs on the outside of the hoop. Each prong is soaked in kerosene and is then lit on fire. The fire dances beautifully around its subject, causing for a very beautiful dance and glowing light feel. Well, besides like PE back in elementary and stuff, my friends back in Texas, they were got really big into hooping. Whenever I came back for Christmas break, um, I just sat there and watched them and was really infatuated with how fun it looked and just like how easygoing and I don't know, I liked it. Yeah, it fun. in oh. Chicago it's freezing outside and I've realized that hooping with a bunch of puffy jackets on is not... Like, you can't do it. It doesn't work. So once it gets warmer outside, I'll definitely be going to Grant Park and hooping away. I make my own hoops because you can make it to your preference. Like, you can make it however, like, heavy you want it or how big you want it. You can put whatever colors you want on it. It's just much more personalized than buying it. Hula hooping is just very relaxing to me. It's almost like a type of meditation. I feel really just relax whenever I'm doing it. It just kind of calms my spirit. And if I'm ever stressed out or I just need a breather, I'll just hoop for a little bit and just kind of clear my thoughts. I've heard about the Chicago Fire Tribe. Um, back in October 2010, I was walking with some friends um, and down the street and I saw a flyer for it and said that they performed on the beach during the full moon sessions and stuff. And I was really interested in it because back then I was into fire spinning and spinning with fire poi and everything, so whenever I saw that, I found out actually they did fire hula hooping, so once I picked up hula hooping, it just was something that really sparked my interest, something I really wanted to like learn about. Fun trick to do. As far as tricks I'm trying to perfect right now, I want to learn how to do lifts um, and throws, which a lift is just where you pretty much just like lift it up and kind of like toss it. A throw is where you're knee hooping and you have to kind of grab it up from your knees and toss it above your head into the air and catch it back down but at the same time not looking sloppy having it like still spiraling as it's going up around your body and coming back down catching it and making it look smooth and transitioning well. The people will make hula hoops because my only prior experience of hula hooping was like hula hooping in elementary school for like hoops for heart and like having hula hooping contests, but not like doing tricks and making them really colorful and interesting. And I just thought it was really cool. And 
So my roommate really introduced me to the art of hula hooping and showed me how to do certain tricks. And before, like, I couldn't even keep the hula hoop up, but now he taught me how to make it easier. And it's like rocky. Like that? It's, it's not like, it's not like, you know, almost like you're trying to pump in the air, but to have started, started like this, like this, and then throw it this way. So eventually, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Paul, that's what's up. That's what I'm saying. Wait, what the fuck? I'm nervous. Hell yeah. The things you need for to make a hula hoop: electrical tape or duct tape, a hoop connector, coupling, knife, and then most importantly, PVC cutters. They're thirteen dollars at Lowe's, and they're perfect for making your hoop. I always end up naming my hula hoops. I always um, like to name them, add stuff to them, add a little personality to them. Once you get it all wrapped up, like so, you have a finished product. This is, these are the things, this is what a hoop coup coupling looks like. This is what you use, a connector. You use these to connect the hoop. And they, my hoop connector on this hula hoop is right here, actually. You can't really see them once they're in there, but this piece will go right here, and that connects your hoop, your PVC piping together. Um, I feel re I feel relaxed whenever I'm hooping. It's um, very liberating. It, it, it's a way of like expressing yourself and just letting go and doing whatever you want to do. There's no wrong or right things to do with the hoop, so it's just it's a very fun activity. Hula hooping. It's a form of self-expression. It's a dance of creation. So yes, when I'm hooping, I'm not just hula hooping. I'm literally dancing. It sort of becomes a safety ring for me. It's meditational. And when it's spinning around and around, you become the center of that universe. Hooping isn't just something that's become a festival thing. It's, it's been going on since I can remember in kindergarten. It's undeniably a beautiful thing to experience. And more people need to realize there's an underlying force of energy that creates hooping. It's not just flow, it's not just physics. It's a type of art, type of dance, type of an expression. 